All right, so this is a demo of View Wall 2. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is showing this video wall up here. What we're demonstrating is having multiple IP sources being decoded by the Datapath SQX card. So on the left-hand side here, we have multiple different kinds of uh, sources set up. So I can drag, let's say, 18 HD sources just onto the video wall there. I can resize them as a group together across the top of the video wall. I can stretch them to the entire size of the video wall. And then in one fell swoop, I can close them all together. So let's bring those back and add some others over here, let's say. Put some more there. And some more here. Close all these again. Um, we can do things like control the video wall directly on the wall from the client. So you can have full control over your local applications and sources. You can move this down here instead to get out of the way. Um, come back over here. Um, we, can, we have a schedule that's set up right now. And the schedule, what it does is, I'll just recall the schedule, is going to move from this 4 by 4 k sources that we're decoding and then in about 20 seconds or so, you'll see in the schedule editor, it will launch another script. And the next script is going to bring up another set of uh, videos onto the wall. So here we have two 4Ks and then the 18 1080Ps that you saw earlier. And then again, in about 20 seconds, it'll bring up another layout that we have scheduled. So you can do things like on Monday morning, launch a certain layout and turn on all the monitors. And then on Friday night, you can turn off all the monitors and shut the system down. Um, so here we have a full 4K source that's connecting. What else? Let me just stop this schedule for a second. We can show... Well, the fact is that it's just easier to use than everybody else. So everything on the left here is what you can show on the video wall. So let's take a, a client and show that. So that's the other operator PC. I can show myself on the video wall. I can instantly start taking control of his PC if I wanted to. I can instantly start using it. That's all just by installing our client. And installing the client and the server is as easy as installing Google Chrome. So there's really not much to it. We interface, we're hardware agnostic. So whether you want to use Matrox or Datapath, we'll work with you and your team to discover like what, how many inputs you need, how many outputs you need, and then we're going to find you the most cost-effective solution. Um, we interface with things like Active Directory, so there's users management. If you want to allow certain people to have access to half of the wall, then you can do that. If you want to let them use only certain of these sources, then you can do that as well. Um, there's complete audit logging, so you know who does what, when, on what part of the video wall. Um, it's just intuitive, so what, what you're able to do as well is, let's say if I close these again, when we start up, you get the two by two grid, but if, you, if that's not what you want, you can always scroll it, and then as soon as you drop a source, it's gonna go to the size of the grid that you've selected, so. You can put multiple things around. Uh, it just makes it very easy to design a layout and then recall the layout. So if we make something like this, um, let's get some IP devices. We have some 4K content, obviously. So let's get some of those onto this. Let's make some of a different size. Let's say we want some larger ones. And what you can do is you can save this entire configuration as a layout. So we'll call this test ISC. And now we have it in the layout list here. So we can take the whole test ISC layout, drag it to a spot on the, on the video wall, and then we have like a picture-in-picture -picture type deal happening. So the entire layout has then been put into a smaller region of the video wall. Um, so the sky is the limit, basically, with the... There's infinite recursion. Yeah, exactly. The sky's the limit. Um, we also have things like... I think he's done his demo, so I'll use this side now. Um, we have a control panel designer, so you can make various control panels. You can create different buttons, and this is good for things like iPads and iPhones. Uh, you can add a button. Again, we'll call this, uh, you know, layout button, or just layout even. We can give it a color. 
we can tell it to open a layout, run a script, send a command, things like that. So we'll have it open our ISC tests or the traffic layout. You can style these buttons. If you don't like the glossy look, then you can change it to a, a modern flat looking look. You save this as a, as a panel. And then you can just run the panel. So this, you click on that button and then we're gonna get all of this coming back up onto the video wall. Um, we had a nicer designed one here. So I'll bring up, we can save multiple obviously. So the traffic one. What I'll do is I'll stop all of this transition from happening. So let's stop that. <coughs> And then we can take things like the traffic that's on the, on the right hand side, we can place it onto the map. We can have the trains move from the map back to the left hand side. Now we want to hide the traffic so that we don't see it on the map. We can hide the trains as well so we only see the map. We can show them back both. So these are completely customizable uh, and it makes it very easy to use, touch enabled obviously. Put the traffic back. And then with a the click of the button, we can start the entire thing over again. So the schedule will take over and do all the transitions together. So that's about it. There's a lot to be said about the software. And so Cobol is both hardware and software. We will, we will help you with the processors. Yeah, we're primarily a software company. The software is written in Montreal, Canada. Um, but yeah, they will help you configure a system that will meet the needs of the project that you have.